Riveted it up on Revzilla, I'm Bucky, and today we're at Chuckwalla Raceway testing the new BMW S1000RR. While I'm sure many of you are going to put this bike to double duty at both the street and the track, we've come out here to put ourselves in an environment in which to really push the limits. Let's take a quick walk around, chat about some features before I hop on the bike and see what it can do. The electronics on the BMW are almost unbeatable. I have the 2012 S1000RR and the technology from then until now have jumped leaps and bounds. The electronic package features traction control, ABS, electronic suspension as a premium package, launch control, wheelie control, and even has a pit lane speed limiter. You'll also notice that the exhaust has gone from a mid-pipe canister to a more conventional rear mount with a twin pipe design that will increase mid-range torque. If you watch the Aprilia 2.0 review, you know that I'm a big fan of Brembo braking systems, and BMW has kitted this bike with just that. There's nothing like tremendous stopping power and the great initial bite at the lever. ABS also comes standard on both models, and you are able to disable it if you choose to. So I think that gives you a pretty good idea of how this BMW is set up. I think it's time to get on the bike and head out to the track. The first thing I want to cover is one of its features that makes this BMW unique. And to be honest with you, most leader bikes are implementing it now, but this bike comes with launch control. So I'm going to grid up at the grid marshal and uh, turn on the launch control, which is holding down the start button for two uh, seconds, and then we're off. Oh yeah, it really kept the front wheel from getting uh, too much up in the air. Picked up for a second and the electronics intervened and made it go right down. I really like that. This is my first time trying it. Now I'm not allowed to apex this turn because I'm entering the track, but I give you a nice wheelie. Click through the gears and have some fun. All right, time to break. <laughs> the power response on this bike is almost immediate. Some other bikes, and even including my 2012 S1000RR, if you were in the wrong RPM range, it would just take a little while to kick in. But here, it's just anywhere in the rev range. It's good to go. The BMW also has a rear wheel lift control system. If you're in the street or race mode, it really prohibits the rear end from coming up. I'm in slick mode right now, so I am able to feel that the rear wheel lifts up if I have to brake super hard. Listen to me shift through those gears super easy with this uh, clutchless control and go down. Two down shifts right into this and not once did I have to use the clutch. It's just so smooth. And even while I'm in the slick mode which has the less intervening traction control, I can feel it working. The ABS is pretty much turned off in this mode but the traction control is there and it keeps me confident. Oh, and going in hot, the Brembo's do a great job of slowing me down. I went into that corner a lot harder than I normally do, but even if you roll off the throttle, you can feel the DDC just soften the suspension up just a little bit and keep that front end feel, keep it from sliding. That was the first time I had to suddenly roll off the throttle because I went into a turn too hot, and I could feel the electronics working in my favor. So right now the suspensions are probably set up nice and soft, but as I get on the brakes, they're going to stiffen up and allow me to turn in a lot easier, and the bike's going to handle better while leaned over. You can feel some of this while going around, such like in this bowl. I feel that I'm able to just adjust my line any way I want, because the suspension is giving me the ideal conditions of what I need. Ooh, I'm going in hot. This bike is great. It's literally a missile on two wheels. And now that BMW's improved the geometry for better handling, it's easily at the top of the ranks for my favorite leader bike. So that gives you a pretty good idea of what this bike is all about. There are no doubt a number of nuances that I wasn't able to cover in my time here. So go on to Common Tread at Redzilla and check out the article I wrote that covers a few more key elements of what makes this BMW such a badass bike. 
Be sure to subscribe to Revzilla on YouTube to stay up to date with the latest and greatest from the Moto Universe. Until next time, I'm Bucky. Keep the rubber side down.